Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars! I hope you guys are having a wonderful sunny day today! And if you are watching it in the winter, I hope it's a very very cold and crispy day. Okay, so today we continue looking at the deck recommended by Rovach. And uh, we're up against double squares, he's level 13 opponent. And this deck has been obliterating and burning all of our opponents. Now, we've got a beautiful hand, let's keep it. Goblin Gory Chaser. Right away putting Infectious Bloodlust on it, it becomes Renowned, and then the fun starts. Holy crap, I can actually attach a bunch of Infectious Bloodlust on it. That works out, so let's do this. How much can we hurt our opponent here? Oh boy, this is really going to hurt, I think. Okay, well, he does have Black. And there is the Reef Soul. Aww. Well, so much for Infectious Blood, last plan. We need more creatures, please. Gods of Magic, give me one. And there is the Goblin Gory Chaser. Another one. Will he have another Reef Soul, I wonder? There we go. And moving on. So there is the 4 damage we already have. Okay, Skyline Cascade. Um, okay, fair enough, fair enough. There is the Reef Soul, again. Okay, Gods of Magic, please give me another Goblin Glory Chaser. If there is one in this deck, I don't remember now. And, okay, Goblin Arsonist, fine, that's good enough. Moving on, holy crap, <laughs> this must be frustrating to watch for our opponent, probably. Okay, so will he have another Reef Soul in there? He does not, interesting. Well, he does have a spell he can play of some sort. Okay, there is the mountain. Let's attach Infectious Bloodlust. Oh, come on. You're going to kill our Goblin Grip of the Royal. Hey, buddy, you know what? That is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Next turn, we'll do another Infectious Bloodlust with Titan Strength and hit you for even more. So that'll be what 8 damage he'll be hit with. Unless if he gets a Reef Soul, which he just did. Okay, uh, one damage to you, and I want to use the Infectious Bloodlust ability, yes. Oh wait, we only have three. Yes, I want to use this. I forgot about it, not four, there's three in the deck. Okay, so now let's draw into another creature we have not. And... Might as well just hit our opponent for 4 in the face, but I'll be keeping this, just in case if he does drop some kind of a horrifying creature that is. It is quite possible. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, he seems to be manuscript, that is pretty good. Majoring Bully is out. What, you go and counter that? Come on. No way. Okay, we need more creatures. We need more... I should have played Exquisite Firecraft and just allowed our opponent to counter this. Oh no, this would have worked out so well. He counters this, then Majoring Bully comes out and our opponent's in big trouble. Now I can't do anything. Okay, well if he does get Jace out, Jace comes out with what? Five counters, I can take out some, so... Let's put the uh, Ember Holler out there. There we go. I can give Ember Holder haste actually, so let's do just that. Beautiful. We drew into another Expedite, I like it. Okay, let's move on. Now, we need one more Matron Bully. With Expedite, it will work out pretty well. There we go, opponent watches the effects, moving on. Draws a card, discards a card, wonder what it will be. Okay. Yep. So he drew into a card. What is it? Ooh, oh yeah, Jace does come out now. So he can return this card back to our hand. Wait. Oh, minus two, minus oh. Really? He's dead with... Well, not dead, but he will be dropping down very low with Infectious Bloodlust and Titan Strength. Or... I can just do double titan strength, that's plus 6 which kills it. You know what? Titan strength, 
Titan strength, Jace is dead. What you gonna do? You're going to return this back to my hand somehow? Really? Really? Oh, he counters one. Well, that's fine. That is fine. Goblin Arsonist, let's keep it on top, I like it. Meaning I can play Goblin Arsonist with Expedite. Swinging. Hitting... Uh, hitting Jace for 3. He might be returning this back to our hand. If he does... Um, yeah, we'll see what we do then. Continue. Down to 3. Is he going to do the minus 2 minus 0 once more? He might. And he does. Now, do I just want to hit it with Exquisite Firecraft and kill it right off the bat? Or do I want to play with it just a little bit longer? What I can do is attach... No, this is not going to kill it, unfortunately. If I do Goblin Arsonist with Expedite, this might work. Expedite on Goblin Arsonist. Let's swing in upon... Oh, you're going to counter that. Oh, come on! That's like the most ridiculous spells to counter, honestly. Well then, so be it, buddy. So be it. Moving on. So, no point in swinging. Let's continue. Should have just done... Well, if I did... He couldn't have countered it. If I did Exquisite Firecraft. That would have worked. Oh well. Now, what does he do? That's good. I am going to do Exquisite Firecraft in Jace's face. Uh, this is a mill deck, it seems. So, can't be affording to lose much more. Okay, first let's swing with Goblin Arsonist to his face. See how he reacts to that. Continue. There we go. This goes to his face. Confirm. He takes it. Beautiful. Okay. And now we do Exquisite Firecraft. Get rid of Jace. And he can't counter it even if he wanted to. Beautiful. So next turn... I play Goblin Arsonist and attach Infectious Bloodlust. Yes, he mills us a little bit. I'll take it. He's down to 17. This is where the real damage starts. Okay. I did not know why he needed to make choices who to choose, really. We lost Goblin, Glory, Chaser and Mountain. Mm, it's okay. There is the Languish. That's unfortunate. Well, one damage to his face at least goes. Will he be able to do another language, I wonder? So Goblin Arsonist, Infectious Bloodlust, instantly gets haste and we get to hit him for 3 damage, dropping him down to 13. Or I can do Majoring Bully first, then Goblin Arsonist, or actually yes, this. And hopefully next turn we draw into a land. If we do, I can double Infectious Bloodlust, pump this up insanely high, and hit our opponent for all it's worth. So there we go, he's down to two cards, what will he do? We lost Fiery Impulse, Titan Strength, ooh, that hurt, that really hurt. Please be a land, it's a Kessig Forge Master, if I play this, then I can't do Infectious Bloodlust. So I might as well just do Infectious Bloodlust here, there we go, and there we go, beautiful. Let's swing for 6. Our opponent's down to 10. Ooh, is he going to bounce something back? Okay, Hydro Lash. Minus 2, so he gets hit for 1. And he draws into a card, mills us some more. Beautiful. Well, this is not as beautiful, but okay. If this loses to a mill deck, that'll be ridiculous. And he's been drawing into insanely good cards too. I mean, Languish, Triple Reef Soul. Scatter to the wings, broken... Oh my god, disperse. On Goblin Arsonist, okay. That's good. Reef Soul on Majoring Bully, also fine. He's still going to get hit for 3 damage next turn with Goblin Arsonist and Infectious Bloodlust. Ooh, I like this. Okay, anyways, there we go. And let's attach this here. Beautiful. Let's hit him very quickly for 3 damage here. Confirm. Confirm. Okay. 
Next up, Kessig Forge Master. Now, things are not looking up for us for sure. It's very, very bad. But then he's at 11 health. We're halfway, almost halfway there. Okay, some more milling. 29, 27 cards. He has one card, Languish. Well, we have Kessig Forge Master. So one damage to opponent's face. Yes, I want to use this ability. Why the hell not? There we go. Uh, yes. Oh, I forgot. That was the Infectious Bloodlust ability. Okay, 27 cards. There is Chantra Fire of Kaladesh. Let's get a Planeswalker out for us now. Can't counter. This will hurt. We swing. Get Kessig Forge Master out. Then tap for one. And transform Chantra. Beautiful. We're down to 22. Okay then. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, he draws into another card. And he's going to discard a card. Oh boy. Okay, he discards an island. Mills has some more. Things are getting really dangerous. We're at 18 now. This is not good at all. Need to get that planeswalker out, so continue. Swing confirm. Get Kessig Forge Master out. There we go. Down to 8. Oh, come on. Why would he... What level is he? Level 13. Why would he have damage effects turned on? Let's do this. Chandra becomes a Planeswalker. We will burn our opponent for 2 more damage. There we go. Okay. Let's do the plus 1. Burn our opponent for 2 more damage. He's down to 5. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now. We get milled some more. And then probably some more. He's down to 5 health. Imprison in the moon applies to Chandra. Yep. Fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. There is... Oh, no. Will we survive this? Holy crap, we're so close right now. He's down to 5 health. We have Twin Bolt. Continue. Okay. Confirm. We need one more turn. And then after this, our opponent is dead. So, let's do this. He has no cards in hand, so I'm going to Twin Bolt it right now. Just so he cannot counter anything. Okay. Oh, actually if I didn't Twin Bolt it, Kessig Forge Master would have transformed into a 3-2. Okay, that's fine. We just need that one damage. One puny damage. Okay, will he mill us fully? I think he can mill us this turn. If he uses the Sphinx Tutelage's draw card and discard a card, we're dead. Okay, 8. What is going to happen? Skyline Cascade? No! You've gotta be shitting me. No way. No way, we lost it. Oh no! I cannot believe this. Okay, so yeah, we survived one more turn and that Skyline Cascade did us in. Oh no! What the hell is this? Uh, what? What the hell? Okay, guys. Well then, there we go. Uh, can't believe I should have not swung with the Flame Heart Werewolf. Oh no! But then, what could I have done? Oh jeez. Okay guys, well, there you go, that's an episode. I mean, no, no, that's game number one. Oh my god. Okay, let's move on to game number two now, shall we? And we're back for game number two. Sorry guys, I was just so shocked by that game number one. Unbelievable. Our opponent milled us, he literally hadn't... I don't know, I haven't checked his deck. But, Unshaven Kirby, okay. Uh, except, jeez, he really had no creatures in hand. Ah, oh, it is unbelievable, just unbelievable. Level 16, we are level 15, okay. And you know what, guys? That is exactly why I love Magic the Gathering so much. It's just scenarios like that, they don't happen in any other game where 
you think you literally had the victory and that was it and then suddenly opponent draws skyline cascade and he beats us it really doesn't happen anywhere else except magic okay now uh won't be swinging with goblin gory chaser probably as much as it pains me uh let's get the mid ring bully out there next turn we can do mountain goblin arsonist and infectious bloodlust there we go let's move on Okay, now will our opponent try to transform Dusk Witch Recruiter or not? There is the Rootbound Crag, okay. Not playing any creatures, it seems. Will he? Oh, he does. So, Hermit of Nutter knows. Well, with Infectious Bloodlust, he might have to double block Major and Bully here. So, Goblin Glory Chaser. Let's put Infectious Bloodlust on Major and Bully. There we are. Beautiful. Now, Major and Bully is forced to attack, so let it be. I'll keep these two guys back for now. 5 damage, will he take it? He takes it! Wow! Fair enough, fair enough. Next turn, another Infectious Bloodlust goes on Major and Bully. And Majoring Bully will be turning into a uh, what? Uh, 6, 7, 5. Or 7, 6, my bad. That's actually pretty good. 7, 6 with. Oh, no trample. Well, that's still fine. So, there is the Reach Bandit. Reach Bandit does have haste. If he attacks, I block with Goblin Arsonist and just kill it outright. Or, I keep back. I mean. That, I'll take this damage, you know? It's no it's no biggie. No skin off my back. So, that's fine. He plays Neglected Heirloom. Probably has plans of transforming things. If he does, like, once more, it is absolutely fine. Kozilek's Return. Kozilek's Return will wipe out everything except Hermit of Nutternals. So, it's an instant. I can play Infectious Bloodlust first. But if he does transform things, that'll hurt a little bit. He puts this... He can wait just one more turn until they all transform. And then things won't be good for us. Uh, do I want to swing with everything? That's two extra damage we'll be dealing to him. Let's do it. Uh, maybe I should have kept back Goblin Arsonist. Ay, 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 ay. That is not good. Well, at least this became renowned. Okay, then. He's down to 6. Once I do Kozilix return, Goblin Arsonist does die. Will he play any spells? Maybe he's tempted to play, maybe he'll wait until they all transform. So he attaches Neglected Heirloom. He's going for the transformation. Okay then, they will all transform. There is the Rabbit Bite. These two fight it out. Or well, he just steals the damage there. Yes, I would like to use this. Confirm. Thank you. This means if I put this on... Yes. Okay, there is another neglected heirloom. Oh, so he did play it. Beautiful. So, what I can do here is put Infectious Bloodlust on him. We do have enough mana for Kozilex Return also. Oh, wait up, wait up, wait up. Fiery Impulse. We do 2 damage on this. First let's swing with everything. He might have to double block this. Okay, we swing with everything. We're, uh, my intention here is to wipe the board clean. Okay. Swing. Confirm. Let's see how our opponent deals with all of this. Will he just take it? He's down to 6. He shouldn't be taking it really. Will he just take it though? Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now, uh, Goblin Gory Chaser will deal 2 damage to Gear Reach Bandit, probably. Let's do this. Confirm. Okay, Goblin Arsonist. Okay, now, 1 point of damage. We do have Fiery Impulse, however, we can keep the Fiery Impulse back, so let's just do 1 damage here. Beautiful. Yes, Kozilek's return, and wipe the board clean. 
Oh my god, this worked. This must be so frustrating. Holy crap. Whew. Wow. Just wow. This did work. So there is the Kessig Forge Master. Nobody cares at this point, really. Neglected Heirloom gets attached. Okay, so be it. I can just do Fiery Impulse and just... Hold on. How much does this give? Plus one, plus one? No, 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 no. No deal. Kessig Forge Master gets burned. And our opponent is left with just one card and double neglected heirlooms. And that was a land. Beautiful, he's at 6 health. Now all we need is a creature. Please, magic gods. Well, Twin Bolt is okay. So, let's continue. There we are. 48. 48 plus 5 plus 5. That's 47. Sorry, 57. Oh, Smoldering Werewolf. Okay. That's 57. Oh yeah, he did have 60. Okay, then. So, okay, one damage to up to two target creatures. He does that, I do Twin Bolt, not allowing him to. No way, buddy. That's dead. He has no mana left. Okay, beautiful. Our turn, Mage Ring Bully. Beautiful, and then Infectious Bloodlust goes on the Mage Ring Bully, giving him haste. There we are, hitting him for five damage here. Oh, jeez, one damage shy. Okay, okay, that's okay. We'll get to it, we'll get to it. So we need something with one burn. There we are. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I'll be honest with you guys, I thought this game we were going to lose. The second I saw Gear Reach bans it out there and... Uh, I Well, uh, that is until we drew into Kozlik's return. But up to that point, I really knew that we were gonna lose. But now, not so much. There is Spirit of the Hunt. It's a flash. We could have kept it to flash it, you know? Huh. Wow. Now this is a little bit scary. Can we draw into a burn? Hmm. Well, this sucks. He's going to have to swing. I can't do anything about it. There we go. Let's continue. Okay. So, Spirit of the Hunt, unbelievable, but he did make it work somehow. Yes, uh, there is no more anyways. Oh boy. Okay, let's continue. Have things taken a turn for worse for us? So, there is attack, 5 damage, we're on 3 turn clock. Are we going to lose this game again with our opponent having 1 health left? I refuse to believe this. It can't be possible. Okay. So, oh my god, finally. Thank you. Okay. Well then, guys, there we go. Uh, okay, confirm. Okay, that is game number two, guys. Let's move on to game number three. And we're back for game number three. Gotta be honest, I thought in that game number 2 we were going to lose the game again with our opponent just having 1 health left. And we're up against Shrimp level 19 opponent. But yeah, thankfully that did not happen. And that makes me really happy. Bunch of lands. But then I kinda like this hand, so let's keep it. So, the plan here is 2 mountains, majoring bully, and then uh, probably Abbot of Carol keep. If it's not a land that he draws into, I'll play my land and then play whatever it is so it does not get exiled. And uh, our opponent has shown that he is a forest. So, Matron Bully it is. Oh wow! Hmm, well next turn I can do Mountain and Expedite Abbot of Carol Keep. Oh, this works. This works really well. So there is the Death Cap Cultivator. We don't really care about it. Do I want to Fire Impulse that? instead of expediting. Okay, there is a mountain. I will play Goblin Arsonist and I will... Do I want to... F this has to swing. He will be killing this. So in this case, unfortunately, I have to... I've gotta do this. So we kill that. We hit our opponent for 3 damage. Could have been 4 if I did the... Uh, actually 5 if I did the Expedite, but I'm keeping it for Ar Abbot of Carol Kip. There we go. Continue. 
Okay, let's see what our opponent does now. So he has revealed to us that he is probably black, blue and green. And uh, there is the Elvish Visionary, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, what do we... Oh, he left the game, beautiful. Uh, let's play Chandra. Why the hell would we not want to play Chandra? So Chandra and a mountain. I know I keep on delaying Abbot of Carol Keep here, guys, but this will work out. I have to be aggressive, but still, uh, just let's wait just a little bit longer. This will work, especially with Chandra being here. So one damage to opponent's face. Off we go. Yes, of course. I don't know why it even asks. I'm pretty sure every single person out there would always say yes, yes, yes. So, um, any spells? Oh, Radiant Flames. Well, that wipes out a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that sucks. Well, we have Abbot of Carol Keep. That's why I kept him back. Let's play Abbot of Carol Keep. See what it is he exiles there? No, what is it? Can we play it? Uh, game, please, let me play it. Can I play this? Well, I gotta scroll, play this card. Okay. Um... I can hit him for 3 or renown this. I think I will go for hitting him for 3 just because I don't believe he'll be able to play any creatures. And then we have Twin Bolt if he does play a creature of some sort. There we go, hitting him. Beautiful. Now, if I play Majoring Bully... Hmm... Choices, choices. Well, anyways, um... What the hell kind of colors is he, really? can't quite grasp the situation. I thought he had black in there, but now it reveals that he has... Okay. Oh, there's a Kung Firebird. It comes out with haste and that's 3 damage to his face right off the bat also. Okay, so now let's swing for 6. There we are. Beautiful. Okay. He's dropping down to 5 now. This is Renown. We have Twin Bolt. So we just need to deal 3 damage to our opponent. Yep, that's a victory. A definite victory. So he does Nisa's Pilgrimage again, that's fine. There we go, three lands, nothing else he can do, maybe a fog, but that's all I really can think him, think that he can possibly do here. There we go, let's just get everything out there, and we swing, and we win. Okay guys, well, there we go, quick game number three, uh, very easy, what? What? Okay. He's killing the Firebird. You know what? We've got a Twin Bolt now. How will I go about doing this Twin Bolt stuff? Well, it doesn't matter. He's down to one health. He's not winning this. Okay, so there is Eyeless Watcher, but we got the Twin Bolt. I can kill the Eyeless Watcher pretty easily. So Twin Bolting these two. This, everything here gets pumped up. And... Uh, just to make things a little bit more safe, let's put Looming Spires on this, let's Twin Bolt, this and this. There we go. Everything gets pumped. I know I could have Twin Bolted his face, and I might regret not doing so, but I think I can even sacrifice Ember Holder here. So there we go, we swing with everything, and we win this. Okay, guys. Yep. Game number three. There we are. And let's move on to game number four. And we're back for game number four. Okay, if I had to guess here, our opponent is going to be a mono white deck, maybe with equipments or aura. Well, let's see. Oh boy, I really. Fa Philippe. Philippe Bot. Okay, I gotta read that name again. Um. This is not the worst hand, I will keep it, just because we do have Goblin Arsonist that comes out right off the bat. Now, Philippe bot level 18 opponent, okay then, let's see what he's got up his sleeve. Oh, if this will be really great if I can draw into one more land and get Infectious Bloodlust out. It'll be really, really good. And our opponent has shown to us that he's white, he probably had a play there but chose not to play it, that's good. 
So let's smack our opponent in the face for one and I think I made a stupid choice here because we are not drawing into the lands we need. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay then. And our opponent probably has enough lands to play whatever he wants to play. Ooh, Militia Captain. Well, if we do draw into one more land I can Twin Bolt it I guess. No, Spark Mage's Gambit is not, not worth it. Yes! So, Infectious Bad Last or Twin Bolt. I'd say Twin Bolt. There we go, get rid of it. And let's swing with the Goblin. Beautiful. Now, next turn. What should I do? That's a question. Oh god, he has damage effects? He's reached level 18 and he still has damage effects on. Holy crap! I don't understand some of the people sometimes. Okay, there is the expedition anyway. Infectious Bloodlust on Goblin Arsonist is not going to do much good for us here, unfortunately. So, Ember Holler it will be then. Come on, buddy. Oh boy, he's taking a while, it seems. Um... Well, he still does have two mana, technically, so he can do lots of things here. There is Declaration and Stone for... Really? Well, unfortunately, list does not trigger the ability here, but you know what? I don't mind this. We can get Ember Holler out there. So, there is the Mountain, and... Hmm... Kozilix Return, eh? You know, let's sacrifice this Artifact Draw card. I'm in no rush here. We've got Goblin Arsonist, let's get that out there. So we do have Kozilix Return. So potentially I can wipe the board pretty well here. Okay, let's see what our opponent does. Oh crap, I had Spark Mage's Gambit. Hmm. Well, if he plays another creature with just one health, hope against hope. What? Okay, that's a 3 2 now. Um, I'll take it. It's fine, uh, skip blocking, there we go. So, next up, hmm, well hope against hope is not going to do him any good if I do cause I'll extra turn here. Huh, what you do, what you do? Do I want to use Avacyn's Judgment or Infectious Bloodlust on this? Huh, what you do? Get rid of it? before it gets too large. I think that's a better choice. I'm a little bit afraid here. Um, so let's do Avacyn's Judgment. As much as it pains me. There we go. Confirm. Let's hit our opponent for one here. Bringing him down to 17. Beautiful. I know, I said I had Kozilix Return and all those grandiose plans, but just in this case scenario because he did have hope against hope I didn't want to take any chances here guys that's why especially because it gave him first strike well he's in a little bit more trouble now there is five lands he's got and he plays Talis lieutenant well this is great actually if I do play infectious bloodlust I can swing with goblin arsonist and he can't do anything unless if he has Grasp of the Hero Monster. Still, he... Well... I'm okay to trade Goblin Arsonist. Let's just say that much. Um, hmm. Now... Interesting choices we've got to make. So... I might play Ember Holler first, but... Let's swing. If he chooses to block... That just means that I will be taking out his Talis Lieutenant. He does not block. Beautiful. So then this means I can do Ember Holler and not fear anything. Beautiful. And then next turn... Next turn actually I can attach Infectious Bloodlust to Ember Holler and hit our opponent for a bunch. Kind of like all, everything that's going on here. So there is always watching. Pumps this up to a 3-3. It's okay. You take 3 damage. I'll roll with it. So you tap... Ember Holler down. It's okay. It is okay. There we go. Moving on. 
we always have exquisite firecraft too if it comes to that we're doing okay so far i don't think there is anything to fear yet so ember hauler gets infectious bloodlust let's continue he gets to swing i don't think our opponent will be blocking here but it remains to be seen of course he takes the four damage drops down to 12 beautiful okay now Will our opponent play a human creature? Hmm. If he does, I think it's in my best interest to use for exclusive firecraft and just burn this out completely. Yeah, I might just do that here then. He plays Kithion's Irregulars, that's fine. This becomes a 4-4, that's a 5-4. It doesn't matter though, even if we do choose to swing with Ember Holler, we still do some serious damage. So we take 4 to our face. There we are. Beautiful. Now. What you do? What you do? So, there is a mountain. I can do Spark Mage's Gambit, Infectious Bloodlust. That's not going to do us much good though. Do I want to do Exquisite Firecraft? Kill Kithion's Irregulars just because of the damage output it can do. And then handle this. Problem is, he can get. Oh, jeez. Okay, I need to kill that. That's the first order of priority. So, this goes to your opponent's face. We'll take care of everything else next turn. So, moving on. Swinging with Amber Holler. Confirm. See how our opponent handles this then. He will be dropping down to 8, and he just takes it. Wow! Okay then, I don't believe he will have enough pump up here, but we are going to have enough damage. Especially, okay, Infectious Bloodlust, we need to do 8 damage. With inf this Infectious Bloodlust, that's not enough. But with Kozilix Return, it is going to be enough. Okay, so, Infectious Bloodlust, we swing, and then Kozilix Return. That works. If I draw into one more land, though, it would be even better. Oh no, I forgot about the Renown. Crap. So, there is few things to consider. Let's play Mountain. What do we do? What do we do? We can do Infectious Bloodlust on Goblin Arsonist. We swing with everything. And then we do Cause Elixir Churn. We have the mana for it and everything set up. So let's do that. What is he doing? He's going to be losing one life. Okay, he's tapping down Ember Hauler. Fair enough, buddy, fair enough. Let's continue. Swing with the Goblin Arsonist. Oh crap, I think we're dead. Oh no, we are dead. Even with Kozilix Return, I cannot do much here. So, there is the damage. No way. Oh no. Okay, let's continue. Have to think this through. So, there is the Sunstone Bridge, he pumps it up even farther. Hold on, if I do Kozilix Return, what happens? Let's do Kozilix Return. Everything here gets wiped out. I choose to do one point of damage here. No, we lost this. Oh, it's all my mistake. I was far too greedy here, guys. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's a loss. I will accept this. No way, that was horrible. Okay. So, opponent hits us for 7 and we die. Well then. That is game number 4 for you guys, let's move on to game 5. And we're back for game number 5. Okay, I gotta admit that game number 4, I butchered it completely. Instead of taking out Thales, taking out Thales Lieutenant, I should have taken out Kithion's Irregulars, forgot about the Renowned and the Top Down ability. It was just a, such a mess. Sorry about that guys, and sorry about that Roy Bach. I'll make sure to keep more Vigilance from now on. Okay. So, 
Once more, Mountain, Goblin, Arsonist. Hopefully we don't draw into more lands, but... I currently like Kessig Forge Master with Titan Strength, especially because I think we can get Kessig Forge Master transformed here. And our opponent is white. Okay. That is fair. His name was what? Chilla385. He's level 16 opponent. I can play a Mountain. Now I have choices. Double Titan Strength or Kessig Forge Master. Given the circumstances for the burst damage, I believe double titan strength is better choice. Confirm. Let's do this, let's do this, okay. I, our opponent won't be able to do much. I like the majoring bully, so let's keep it on top. Yep, so 7 damage burst, he drops down to 13 on just turn number 2. Beautiful. Moving on. Holy crap, this is unbelievable. 13 damage by turn 2. Okay, our opponent still has nothing to play. And I like that. Oh, if I played Kessig Forge Master, things would have turned out a little bit differently. Well, let's play him now. Or her, sorry about that. There we go. We will slowly wait. Hit our opponent for one. Celestial Flare, as expected. Well, we still get to hit our opponent. 4, 1. There we go. Yes. Beautiful. Well, he dropped down and that was such a waste of Celestial Flare, honestly. He could have used it on so many better things. Well then, let's see what he does now. He has lands, okay. Will he play a creature or will he let Kessig Forge Master transform? He plays Relic Seeker. Oh, Kessig Forge Master won't be able to do much just yet. Okay, and it is renowned. Whoa! Now we play mountain, majoring bully, and expedited. Let's come on, game. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful. We drew into a land, which I'm fine with not playing. Um, let's swing with everything. If our opponent's okay trading with the Kessig Forge Master, I'll take it. Otherwise, he takes 5 damage to his face. Holy crap, he's down to 7. Okay, then. Now, with this Relic Seeker, it is going to become Renowned, so it will be a 3-3. Three, three. Never mind, it will be a 4-4. Four, four. So that's why he didn't block it. He had a play. So this will turn into a 4-4. Four, four. There we go. We are losing our Matrink Bully. I'm very sad about it, but... Yeah, Major and Bully is gone. Now, let's see what he does. There's the throwing knife. Oh boy. Well, that's going to come out next turn. We have Ember Hauler. This is pretty good. So I play Ember Hauler. Swing with everything. If he does choose to block, I sacrifice Ember Hauler and just do the damage. We're good to go. So, confirm. There we go. Will he block? He does, beautiful. Let me just sacrifice Ember Hauler, do the damage to his face, and his Relic Seeker is gone. There we go. Okay, he's down to 5 health, we're still at 17. And we got rid of a very scary creature there. Now, will he play a spell? I'm kind of out of spells here. There's the Militia Captain, okay. It's a 3-3, three, three. that's a problem. And another militia captain. That's double trouble. Well, we'll have to do something about this now. Here's the thing, if I do swing with Kessig Forge Master, pretty much we get it. Uh, like, we obliterate, we obliterate one of the militia captains. But I'm not going to do this. I'd like Kessig Forge Master to transform first. Let's continue. Haven't played anything. There is the transformation. We've got a 3-2 on our hands. Not to mention that if it blocks or becomes blocked, it deals 3 damage. It's not, I mean 2 damage. It is not enough to kill the militia captains. But we'll have to do something. Oh, if he sacrifices this. You may sacrifice if you do throwing knife deals two damage to target creature or player. Oh jeez. 
Okay, he might sacrifice the throwing knife. Yep. Killing flame heart werewolf. Well then, we take six damage. Okay. Now what you do? Things are getting a little bit serious here. There is the double goblin glory chasers, so let's get them out there. There we are and there we are. Beautiful. Moving on, I do believe this might be a loss right here. So our opponent will be dropping us to 6 health next turn. And thanks to always watching, I can't really do much. He's down to 4 cards though. So maybe, just maybe there is salvation. If I draw into Exquisite Firecraft and Goblin Arsonist, we win this. Given that our opponent doesn't draw into any life gain, which I don't see how it could be possible. So there is the attack, there is the 6 damage. I take it. There we go. Okay. And now. There is the bygone bishop. That's also fine. And there is the knight of white origin. Well then. If we don't draw into goblin arsonist. Oh, we lost this. Okay guys, well then. Game number 5, a loss. Let's move on to game number 6. And we're back for the last game of this episode. When I started this episode, I'll be honest with you guys, I thought it is going to be an all win. But unfortunately, due to some misplays, some bad luck, didn't happen. Sorry, Roy Bach. Dench W, he's level 8. We've got... Hmm, no. I gotta draw a new hand, unfortunately. You know, Goblin Gory Chaser, not bad. And also a double Matron Bully. Opponent is on starting turn, he is green. Okay. We need more lands, if we do. Matron Bully along with Twin Bolt is going to work out for us wonderfully. Now, will this happen or not? That's a question. Hmm. Alicent's Judgment is also pretty good. We're up against werewolves here. Okay then. Now, do I draw... Into... Yes, I did. So, let's get the Matron Bully out. Beautiful. Moving on. Uh, not attacking yet. There we are. How is opponent going to handle it? Will he transform Lamphold Pacifist into a... Uh, what is it? Lamphold Butcher? It's possible. Oh my god, he's going to do... Never mind, Rabbit Bite. He's getting rid of Matron Bully. And that's fine. I've got a second one here. So you just keep it up for now. You know what? Let's continue. Let's swing. I'm going to be getting rid of this Lamhold Pacifist. It's too much of a burden. There we go. Okay. So there we go and that's dead. Beautiful. This needed to be done. It was getting a little bit ridiculous. So Foundry of the Consoles. Hmm. Well. We'll take care of it too. Matron Bully and Twin Bolt. Makes very quick work of that. Actually, we have a mountain. So what this means, I can play Ember Hauler and Goblin Gory Chaser. Next turn, I hit with the Twin Bolt and sacrifice Ember Hauler and we should be in good hands. Hmm, plus one, plus one, as long as you... Okay, just trample. There's no regeneration and I'm happy for that. Well, it seems like this is going to be a good last game for this deck. I mean, well, this episode, I mean. Okay. So, what will he play with his four lands? Warp landscape is pretty good too. So, there is the attack. If he swings, I take it. You know what? Actually, maybe I wait here. Let's keep blocking. Yeah, I think I am going to be waiting here, play Matron Bully and only then do the Twin Bolt and Ember Holder combo. Fire Impulse. The words, oh crap. Well this is not going to work. Now if we 
do draw into one more land, however. Nope, not happening. So, let's do Goblin Arsonist and Matron Bully. There we go, and there we go. Now, I still am hopeful that next turn we are going to draw into a land. Let's keep the attack and move on. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. This was so retarded. Oh no! Holy crap, that was stupid. Oh my god. I cannot believe this. I could have gotten Goblin Glory Chaser Renowned. What the hell? He would have had Venice and then I could have just kept on pinking him. Oh no. Well, there goes me saying that that's a good ending for this episode. So, 5 damage. Let's drop down to 11. It's fine. Now, our only hope here is to draw into two lands. Hopefully it does happen. So, Fall of the Titans. Okay, one damage. Goblin, Glory Chaser and Arsonist. If Glory Chaser was renowned, things would have been so much better. Yes, I do want to use this ability. Yeah, he couldn't have killed the uh, Goblin Glory Chaser this way. We drew into Infectious Bloodlust. Might as well. Might as well. So here we are. Let's hit our opponent. In this case scenario, our opponent would have been down to... Actually what? 11 life. If I did the Goblin Glory Chaser. Oh well. I gotta pay for my mistakes here, unfortunately. So. He puts... That's a 7-7 now. How do we deal with this? And what is this? Plus, okay, yeah. Dealing with this is going to be difficult. We need a creature. There is the Amber Hauler. Let's get him out there. Will he? I don't think he'll have a remover for Amber Hauler, so I'm okay. Killing our opponent for 4. Dropping him down to 10. Next turn, I'll just jump block and then sacrifice Amber Hauler, dropping our opponent down to 8. Unless if he has some means of getting rid of Amber Hauler, which is possible. But he only has three cards here, so let's keep that in mind. Oh no, he can do this and trample. God damn it. Well then, we're dead, guys. Yeah, I can't do anything. You know what? One more game. I accept to end this deck like this. It's just not good. Shouldn't be happening. Okay, so 9 damage. Let's move on to the next game. And we're back for the last game of this episode. Now this game is going to be a victory no matter what. I just feel it in my bones. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm not going to read his name. He's level 2 opponent. I believe given the name and his level, this is going to be an easy game. So let's keep this hand. I like it. We do have Matron Pulley, Abbot of Carol Keep, bunch of wonderful cards. So, Goblin Arsonist, off you go. Now. Mountain, I'll probably try to get the Matron Pulley out first, and only then I'll do Abbot of Carol Kip. And then, if we do draw into that one land with Abbot of Carol Kip, I can expedite Abbot of Carol Kip and hit for 6 damage right off the bat. He plays Vessel of Nasani. That's fine. Moving on. And now we drew into a land. You know, that's fine. That's actually pretty good. There is the Matron Bully. Okay, let's ping our opponent just for one damage. That's not much, but we gotta build up the momentum. Okay, beautiful. And there we go. And I do accept fully that previous game was my mistake. It's just, it was so stupidly played. If I swung with that Goblin Glory Chaser, everything would have been different. Okay. Does he have a fog in there, I wonder? Let's play Abbot of Carol Keep. See what kind of card he has hidden in there. Please, be a land. What is it? It's Exquisite Firecraft. Well, you know, let's just play the mountain, let's expedite on Abbot of Carol Keep. Everything gets pumped up here. 
and we hit him for 7. Beautiful. He drops down to 12. Kind of sucks that we do lose Exquisite Firecraft, but that's the price we pay. Hey, everything, come on. There we are. Wonderful. Next up, Chandra. Maybe I should have played Chandra first before getting Gabbat of Carol Keep out. This way I wouldn't have lost Exquisite Firecraft. He's sacrificing Vessel of Narsini. Okay. Ooh, not bad. Okay. Regardless of which, what we draw next, I will be playing Glooming Spires, and then we'll see what we do after that. So. Woodland Cemetery, there is a uh, Moldgaf Scavenger, it just comes out as a 0-4, how many he needs? One more card type in his graveyard. Well, we can still hit our opponent for decent chunk of damage. Hmm, nope. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I want to do Looming? Well, Chandra goes out first. I guess I do Looming Spires on whom? Goblin Arsonist, yeah. And let's get Chandra out there. There is Chandra. Beautiful. And let's swing. He just blocks one. He's still... Uh, what the hell? I... Oh. oh my god. I tapped the space bar. Oh no. What the hell? Okay, there is something wrong with... Whenever you have a creature that... Always attacks each turn if able. If you play press the space bar that doesn't seem to work. Damn it! And I saw that coming too from like a mile away. There is a vessel of Nasani. Okay then. Now what? Opponent waits patiently. There we go. There is the goblin arsonist. So let's play this mountain. Let's continue. Okay, look, I press spacebar. What the hell? That worked. Okay. We swing. See how our opponent responds to this. Will there be a fog? What is this? Void Grafter. Oh no. Oh, hexproof until end of turn. So that gained hexproof. Okay. He kills Chandra. I do not like this. Major bully. Hold on. Now, can I do cause elixir turn? If I do, everything gets wiped out. Ah, uh, no. Not worth it. We lose Chantra. I'll accept that. Hold on. Now, if I do cause Elixir return, he loses his creatures. Let's do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pump up happens first, right? Beautiful. So, these creatures die. We lose this. We ping our opponent for one damage. Our Matron Bully does survive. Beautiful. Yes, I want to use this ability. Let's play another Goblin Arsonist out here. Okay, this worked out in our favor, especially because this was a horrifying creature. So, here we are, our opponent's at 8 health. We have no cards in hand though. He has quite a few, especially... Oh, great. So there is the silver... Is this how it works? Okay, you may put an artifact creature, yes, so he's going to take Sylvan Advocate there. Okay, come on. I don't think there's much thinking to do here, really. Let's see. Yep, he did take the Sylvan Advocate, as expected, and out it goes. Now we need an instant, or pretty much anything but a creature or a land card. Please, game. You know how not to use a point. Thank you so much. There. Oh, come on. Okay, confirm. Okay, things might be turning for the worse. Damn it. God damn it. This is not good. Especially because I missed that one turn where I could have hit our opponent for 3 extra damage. He would have been at 4 health right now. He would have been pretty much one exquisite firecraft away from death. Another problem is I should have played Chandra first. If I played Chandra, better chances because then I could have played Fire Abbot of Carol Keep and other stuff. Okay, I'm going to accept all these mistakes that I've done. We take 4 damage to our face. 
Dealing with Sylvan Advocate is not going to be easy. Even with Titan Strength, it's not going to be easy. So let's continue. We swing, confirm, see how our opponent handles it. He will probably just block. Yep, there we go. Let's just ping him for one damage. I'm not using I'm not wasting Titan Strength on this. It's not going to do any anything really. So there we go, yes. Maybe I shouldn't have swung. Maybe I would have drawn into a second Titan Strength here. Who knows? There is maybe lots of maybes here. Ah oh, jeez. I'm sorry Roy Wah. I think I messed up your whole deck. Definitely not playing oh. Hold on, what? Oh, okay then. He targets himself. What the hell? What is this deck anyways? What has he got in there? Okay. This is a bunch of random cards to be honest. I don't know if it makes any sense from what he's got going on here. He's probably just doing random stuff in there. So there we go. We're down to 12. Okay. Our opponent could have been down to 3. And what did I say? We... <laughs> oh, jeez. This is just bad. So, so bad. Okay. Hopefully we draw into a creature card. Can't be taking this. Oh, no. And there is the delirium that triggers. Oh, oh. We're in big trouble, guys. Yeah, and at least I could have killed the Sylvan Advocate if I had the Goblin Arsonist. Instead, I'm taking needlessly this damage. He has this horrifying creature and bunch of other creatures. Well, there is the Goblin Glory Chaser, if that's any good to us. There we go, let's continue. Beautiful, continue. If he does swing, I have a choice of either ki killing this or this. What will I kill though? Okay, he swings with everything. Oh, never mind. Now, what is he doing? He's making us lose life. Four life we lose. And yeah, that's game, guys. Ah, oh, boy. Well then, I'm sorry for this horrible play. Hopefully it was at least somewhat entertaining to you guys. And as always, if you have any suggestions or anything, let me know. I'll be very, very, very happy to assist. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys in other episodes. Bye!